What's the password? Can I come in? Nah, that ain't it. Get on out of here, kid. This is for adults only. Hey guys, look what I found at the flea market. <laughs> the world's smallest Hot Wheels <laughs> by Mattel. I found two sets and it's the 50th anniversary. You ready to dig into these babies? <laughs> oh, now here we go. This is the second one. The Hot Curves Action Set. You ready to get into this one? <laughs> I know you are. I am too. Let's do it. Hey, cats and kittens, it's a toy car case event at Johnny Roman's Supper Club. It is 316 on old Johnny Club. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Look at all these micro machines. They are tiny, they are cool, they make me drool. This is a micro machine special edition. I love it. You can stick them in your pocket, stick it in your nose, stick it in your fingers, stick it in your toe. Okay, kids, don't stick them in your nose. That's wrong. Aw, oh, come have fun. Now, I found these at the flea market, and they're a little beat up, but uh, I can't tell you. I was so grateful for the guy. He was very cool in uh, giving me a good price on these. They've been sitting there for weeks. I know at least three weeks for them. So here is the set. It is a Hot Curves action set. It is a 50th anniversary, which is pretty cool. Includes exclusive car. There's exclusive. It's a bone shaker. Right, so that is pretty cool. I'm digging these. Here's all four. Now, on the other one, it said assemble the Hot Curves Action Set. It seemed for the maximum performance, but it had it on the wrong one. It had it on the, um, the Drag Race Action Set and not the curve action, hot curves action set. Streaks around hairpin curves, and that is your hairpin curve. This is pretty cool. This box has been a little beat up, but let me tell you, it's been in and out of flea markets and all sorts of stuff for a long time. So let's see what we can do here. We'll open this up at the bottom with Mr. Handy number 11 Exacto Blade. Pretty good. Oh, I would love to get that that wheel, <laughs> that case, so you could collect all these. It would be so cool to have. Uh, the wind's out of my sail these days, cause not a people, a lot of people aren't watching, liking, or subscribing these days, and all sorts of things are popping down and not happening. It's not encouraging for all the work that goes into showing all these and looking around I was hoping that we could maybe do a supplement income off of this uh, and spending all a lot of extra time do not discard packaging if it contains important safety information 2018 oh, this is I love this logo <laughs> or the UPC symbol now it's got some sticker residue and stuff on there. See the schmaltz on it? And that could easily wash off, which is cool. World's smallest. They have a lot of really cool stuff. Here's all the um, parts that are included. And here's your tiny little instruction sheet. Now the other one was a little jacked up on the other video, so this one seems to be pretty intact. Super tiny writing on super tiny stuff. And it tells you how to put it all together and what's the best way to deal with it all. And here's all your sets in one. Now that loop-de-loop -loop stunt action set would be really fun. As well as the action case. And the clamp, um, the other one had a double... Uh, attachment on the side where you could attach two tracks and this is just one track so that's cool so <laughs> look at that little tiny bone shaker let me set this up and I will we'll see what we can do here it looks like we got the same oh no there's only four pieces of track in this one opposed to six in the other 
would have been great for a long run, but I know, save a penny, save a dime. But let me tell you, having this at your desk at work when you're just going crazy, you need a little starting gate though. I'm sure someone could fabricate one to make it look really cool. So, uh, there's tape usually, yeah, there was tape over the, each car. So I just took the sticker off and kind of look at this. I didn't show you the other ones up close, but oh yeah, I think I did. Look at that. It's <laughs> super tiny. These wheels are huge compared to the other ones. Got some tiny, super tiny writing on there. That's upside down. I can see that. So. Here's your super tiny writing right side up. Oh, so much fun. And a jump. <laughs> now, it doesn't have the lift part. This is the catcher part. So that catches the car. You've got your, uh, you've got little like tabs in the, the blow mold. <laughs> they kind of hold it together. So that's pretty cool like there might be a little flashing on that that we might have to trim. You see that kind of sticking up there? Come on, get it focused up here. See that little tab? Got to trim that off. Sometimes you, you know, in the process they, they'll do some stuff. Remember, like and subscribe. I know you guys are zipping through these videos and hopefully uh, shorter videos will keep your attention a little longer so let me set this up now uh, this has the double track on one side single on the other see that double on this side and then single on this side okay I'll be right back so here's my setup with four tracks, I did two on the down go to our super duper curve. It is the hot curve, I mean. Up to a jump, I'm using a vintage Matchbox Jaguar to do that. And here is the catcher. So, I used some weights to hold it down and hopefully this will work try and line this up a little bit better see if we can actually get it to happen I'm going straight down on this because I just want to make sure that it has some momentum ready go <laughs> let's see if it can get around the super duper curve <laughs> nope so let's put it down flat and see if that'll work Well, it works with some cars. <laughs> Maybe not this one. Hang on. Well, just like our regular track, I bent this out a little bit so it isn't stopping it. Let's see if that works. Oh, nice. But even with this super high drop rate, there's no way that thing's gonna jump. <laughs> Uh, great idea. We'll have to like have three going straight down and then into a jump or something But let me tell you these little sets are kind of fun and goofy. It's more for nostalgia for us old guys That uh, are trying to relive our childhood and escape from the goofy reality that's happening all around us each and every day But I'm digging these little sets Almost to the end Oh, look at that action. Wow. Well, there you go. There you got it. <laughs> this is the world's smallest Hot Wheel car. Looks like a bone shaker, which is kind of cool, minus all the cool grill. But maybe not. There's kind of a bone shaker grill on that. So, 
this is pretty cool. It all comes in a little box. There's four interactive sets. One is a carrying case for all your mini cars. Now I got the other one back into the case just so I don't lose anything and I'm gonna do the same with this. I love these things. I've got a couple other little cars like this. I don't think of the track. The other track I have is Hot Wheel Tracks and they actually came not from the world's smallest company but it came from Mattel directly and they are a little bit bigger than this track. And we've raced those. The Micro Machines raced well on it. I guess Micro Machines would race pretty good on these, too. So, you can get them and mix and match. So, rock on, my friends. Rock on. This one was kind of a flippity flop. Like, subscribe, tell your friends about us. Let's get the word out. Come on, support each other. I pray that uh, things will get better for all of us out there. Be safe, be healthy, and remember, get those Hot Wheels out and race them. <laughs> this is Johnny signing off. I know you're a toy car case guy out there. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out. Don't you wish you had that? This is the place to be.